practice is going well? Yeah. Uh, you take into the kind of a leadership role pretty well? You feel? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm just out there every day trying to do my job and hopefully make myself a little better every day. Coach Ferrin says you're almost too conscientious about making mistakes and that you just need to relax and play football a little bit. Is that pretty much easier said than done for a guy like you? Uh, definitely. I think, you know, trying to avoid mistakes, I try not to dwell on my mistakes too much. It's definitely something I can improve upon, you know. I usually feel like I play my best when I'm just relaxed and, you know, worried about just playing football and having fun. There, there, uh, <laughs> Their offense, I guess they call it the fastest 60 minutes in football or something like What have you seen from this offense? I mean, what, what do you anticipate on Saturday? I know they run an up-tempo offense. They like to spread the field, you know, three wide, four wide. Sometimes they do some flex ball size type stuff. So they mix it up, and that's something we got to be prepared for. If they're you know, willing to play fast, you know, we're going to have to match their tempo. So that's something we're going to work on and it's something we've been working on. What are you going to do with calls if uh, there's not even hardly any time to get signals from the sideline? Uh, we have no huddle protocols, so you know that's something you know, we practice every day. So yeah, hopefully it'll be business as usual in that respect. How does the defense come along? Through, Sorry, how does the defense come along? A lot of new guys, new faces in there. Yeah, I think we're, we're coming along well. You know, We're going to find out Saturday, but if we're looking at you know, the end of the spring versus the beginning of the camp until now, I think we've improved. And, that's what you get hope, and hopefully we're ready to play a game. The coach says he's going to rotate, or Coach Farron says he's going to rotate six to eight defensive linemen. I, I, ma I imagine that means he wants to see what these six or eight guys can do in a game. Sure. Is that is that, what, is that how you interpret that? Yeah, I think we got uh, about six to eight guys that you know are ready to play football, and you know whatever the coaches do, you know I think it's for the best. And, you know, I'm completely behind their decision. I think you know having fresh linemen or you know having multiple guys that you know have been in a game situation can only really help us. Mm -hmm. What do you expect uh, out of the, some of the newer guys? I mean, are, have it, have it, has it broken down yet? I don't know how new you are with them, but has it broken down yet where there are guys who are good at stuffing the rug or there are guys who are good at pressing the passer, specialists think, that way? Sure, every guy has you know certain things he might do better than you know other aspects. You know, I fall under that just like everybody else does. But I think everybody is just you know trying to prove themselves at this point. You know, excited to show what they can do on Saturday. You fall into that? What are you? What are you what's your specialties? What are you? What are you better at? Than? I'm not real nitpicky. I just have certain areas where maybe I'm more comfortable than you know, other parts. You know, personally, I don't necessarily mind it. You know, when, when teams start going no huddle, running around, you know, saying I just like to run around and play football. So that's sort of my. You guys are going to see more of that this year, right? I mean, no Wisconsin, no Ohio State. Yeah, I think that's something that you know offenses are tending to lend themselves more to, and you know, we're going to adapt just the same way everybody else has adapted. Hopefully, it won't affect us too much.